Okay, so it's official. Tomorrow morning at six o'clock, I'm going to the hospital and I'm going to have my gallbladder removed. And I know that I've talked to you about this several times before and you all know that I've been a little nervous about having it done. Um, and I'm going to tell you a story and it's, it's very special to me and it's um, very spiritual to me. Um, a couple months ago, I had a bad attack in the night and we weren't in our home, we were in the RV and in the middle of the night and I just prayed, Heavenly Father, help me get through this night and when I get home, I'll make a doctor's appointment and I'm going to have my gallbladder taken out unless you um, tell me otherwise. I'm going to go ahead and go through with this. So, of course, I get feeling better and then I get thinking, well, maybe I don't need it out. But I still went ahead and got my doctor's appointment and scheduled the surgery. And then um, yesterday, you know, I all this time I've been a little anxious. And then yesterday I, I said a little prayer, Heavenly Father. Um, do I do I really need to have this done? And um, last night, Heavenly Father is so cute. Last night I had a gallbladder attack, <laughs> and I thought, Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh yes. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'll get it out. And I don't know. That was just a confirmation to me that. Yes, Jennifer, how many times do I have to tell you you need to get your gallbladder out? And he's just been very patient with me, and I think it is really sweet. And I just know that prayers are answered. And I think sometimes we make it much more difficult than it needs to be. I think we get our answers, and then we um, start doubting, start questioning them. But that was really a neat experience. So anyway, tomorrow... We're going to get up bright and early and we're going to go in and have my surgery and I won't even remember it. <laughs> and then next thing I know, I'm going to be back home in my bed um, convalescing. And I decided to, to set this bedroom up for me to get better in because this is the bedroom that Jared was in when he was recovering a week ago. And I, I had bought him some flowers, and when they went home, he left them for me. So now I've got some flowers, and I had also bought, or not bought, but I gave him one of our silver bells that we had for, at Christmas time. They're really pretty, Reed and Barton silver bells, and I gave it to him, and he took it home. But I also have my original Reed and Barton silver bell from when I was a little girl, when I was nine years old. Um, I broke my jaw and my dad gave me this bell and and it's been really special to me and when Bonnie had her knee surgeries when she was nine years old just like I was nine years old when I broke my jaw I gave her that bell and her and I have been trading it back and forth over the years whenever one of us is sick the other one will um, will take it and polish it up and use that little silver bell so I'm excited about that and um, oh, there was one other thing I was going to tell you. Jared and I had our surgeries scheduled within one day of each other. And for some reason, the doctor, um, and, and we knew his, his grandma was sick and we, we didn't know when she was gonna pass away, but we knew it was soon. And she did pass away and the hospital called me and rescheduled my surgery for a week later out of the blue and we just thought that was a real blessing because we weren't um, both held up at the same time and I was able to be here and watch the children while the, he was recovering and so he could attend his grandma's funeral so that was just another really special blessing to us so
anyway I'm looking forward to tomorrow I'm not nervous at all I just feel so comfortable and so at ease and so uh, Chad's going to film a little bit I don't know how much he'll film but he's gonna film a little bit and we'll throw this video together for you but I did want to get on here and tell you these little stories that are special to me and tell you thank you for all the well wishes already that I've received and also tomorrow just to update you Linda is going to be going in for some tests and we'll um, we'll let you know how she's doing she's doing a little better but she's still not herself so we'll keep you posted on Linda as well and love you guys just love you thank you and I'll see you tomorrow but I don't know what kind of shape I'm gonna be in we'll see you bye bye I don't want you to go. It's red, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> well, You're in a hurry to get rid of me, huh? <laughs> no, I was looking at the pretty sky. Well, that is pretty. I don't know if they can hear, see it, but it's really pretty. Traffic, I mean, it's just, I think we take for granted sometimes where we, where we live. Well, good luck, sweetheart. <laughs> We're in this together, aren't we? Oh, yeah. I mean, you're in surgery, I'm in surgery. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Want to trade places? Yeah. <laughs> I got my Bali, my Bali clothes on. They're nice and loose. Comfy. Comfy. All right, what you thinking about? How nice it's going to be to lay in bed and sleep and be waited on. <laughs> By who? You know? Oh, I, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> All right, he will answer any questions you have about going to sleep. There <laughs> <laughs> you go. Okay, so Jennifer didn't want her shoes in her bag with all of her nice clean Bali clothes. So she made me put gloves around her sandals. <laughs> You're funny. You look cute. <laughs> The worst of the operation is over. <laughs> Getting, getting your IV put in. best caregiver he has been so good to me i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna soak it up i'm gonna play it <laughs> you do that i'll take care of you as best i can i love it, <laughs> yeah. I, love it. Yeah, I need to learn learn how to do this mm -hmm. kind of stuff
Thank you. Night, night. Well, it is day two. I've had my surgery yesterday. I've slept the night. Um, been able to get cleaned up this morning and my granddaughter Olivia is here today. She is going to watch after me. Chad has some uh, work that he's got to do and he's going to be gone but Olivia is going to be here with me and so I am going to close out my vlog. Oh remember my uh, my little bell over here. I'll just have to ring it and Olivia will come. <laughs> Olivia will come see what I need. But, <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm going to close out this vlog and say goodbye to you. And I, why don't you subscribe because Olivia is going to make a vlog for me, being <laughs> here with me, taking care of me. And what are you going to do, Olivia? Pretty much just kind of like clean up the house, watch the little cousins pretty much. Oh yeah, we've got a little, so. little and she's going to, um, video. Tell me what you're going to video. Um, cleaning and watching your cousins. <laughs> She's going to do a video and I am going to put it up on my channel next week and we'll just see what we film. I don't know what we're going to film, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And Olivia is a pro because her mom, her mom and dad do this. Um, if you are not familiar with our channels, her mom, her family channel is Bonnie Holine. Yeah. And so I'll leave a link to the, to their channels here. And anyway, thanks for watching. I, I'm surprised how perky I feel this morning. So <laughs> talk to you later. Bye-bye.